Hi, boys and girls. I'm so sad that I can't be there with you today, but I know you're in very good hands. So we have done an amazing amount of research on our Florida friend, and you all have this organizer in your binders, or at least you should, completely filled out. And so we're ready to write our informational piece of writing. So what I'm going to do today is teach you the best that I can, because I'm not there, how to write a topic sentence. Now, there are many ways of writing a topic sentence, but for today's lesson, since I'm not there, we're going to learn two different ways, and you're going to be able to choose which one you want to use to start your research writing. So I have my organizer in front of me, and we did all the research together about eagles. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is mine. And so now I want to show you how to write a topic sentence two different ways. The first choice is very basic and it just lets your reader know what you are going to be writing about. So that's basically what a topic sentence is. It lets the reader of your paper know what it's going to be about almost like a main topic in reading. So the first choice is this one. I am going to tell you about eagles. Now obviously you wouldn't write that on your paper because you didn't research eagles. If you like starting your paper like this, then you would write this. I am going to tell you about and then you would write your Florida friend in the space on your paper. <clears throat> you wouldn't write eagles and you wouldn't make a line. So that's your first choice. That's not a bad way to start our writing, especially when we're first doing it as our first time. Or if you want to go above and beyond and make your writing really exciting, we have a second choice. And mine says, Eagles are amazing birds. Now I know that because in my research I read all of these great facts about eagles that showed me they're amazing birds. Now maybe you want to think of a really cool sentence to start your writing with about your animal. And then you can choose the second choice instead. So I'm going to show you which one I chose to start my rough draft of my research report. So here we go. So here's the rough draft paper, and it also will be the good copy paper after we edit our writing. So I decided to choose my topic sentence that read this. Eagles are amazing birds. I wanted to go above and beyond, so I chose the second choice. You don't have to. Then what I did is I went back to my organizer. Sorry. And the first fact I researched was about my habitat. And remember, boys and girls, we did not write complete sentences on our organizer. We just wrote notes. And we talked in class how we can take these notes and turn them into a sentence. So if I wanted to tell my reader about where eagles live as far as which habitat, well, I took notes here and it says wetlands and forest. So how could I turn that into a sentence to tell my reader that that's where eagles live? <clears throat> hmm. Oh, I know. I can say eagles live in a forest in the wetlands. So that's what I'm going to do. So for today, as far as your rough draft of your report, you're only going to write two sentences. The first sentence is your topic sentence, and you will choose choice one or two. I chose choice two. Eagles are amazing birds. And then I took my notes from my habitat research and I put them in a sentence. 
that reads, Eagles live in forests in the wetlands. Not too hard at all. All of the hard work is done because we researched already. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get your rough draft paper and I want you to think about which choice you want to use for your topic sentence. Do you want to write choice one where it says, I am going to tell you about, and then you write your Florida friend here? Or do you want to come up with your own exciting sentence that states something cool about your animal as your topic sentence? So what I want you to do is pause the video now, write your topic sentence on your rough draft, and when you're done, hit play. Okay, boys and girls, so you should have written your topic sentence by now on your rough draft after you're ready for your first fact. So I want you to go to your organizer and reread your notes as to where your Florida friend lives and which habitat and where do they live. And I want you to try your very best to take your notes and put them into a sentence like I did right after my topic sentence. Here, eagles live in forests and the wetlands. Boys and girls, if you notice, I wrote on the second line of my paper. That's because I ran out of room over here. If you wrote smaller than I did and you have room after your topic sentence, I want you to start your second sentence right after it. I didn't have room, so I had to come to the second line. So to end this video, you are now going to go to your organizer and write your notes for your Florida friend's habitat into a complete sentence. I can't wait to read this. Have fun. Boys and girls, when you're done writing your topic sentence and your first fact, take your rough draft and your organizer and put them in your binder.